Hello everyone, welcome to this new video of Technology Moments. This is Alan and as we promised a couple months ago, we were gonna be back with more Wi-Fi 7 adapters, tests and with answers to questions that were left in the air at that time. Three specifically. First, are Wi-Fi antennas exchangeable? Second, real MLO multi-link operation? And third, are all Wi-Fi Intel-based cards the same? You're gonna see that it was absolutely worth waiting for this. In this video, we want to share with you the experience that we had with this other adapter, the BE8800 M.2 model from Wavlink. We'll show you how easy it may be to install. Of course, this depends on the laptop that you're gonna be upgrading. Very simple packaged and we appreciate that. Comes with the screwdriver, the screw that holds it in place and the card, that's it. And that's basically everything that you're gonna need. Okay, so you can see right here that Wi-Fi cards come in key E format. This means that that poses a big difference compared to when we used to upgrade to Wi-Fi 6 cards. And as we've been able to see, even with key E slots, not all computers are compatible with these cards. Something like what happened at the early stages of Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E. This Lenovo laptop that you're seeing on screen works with this card, but didn't work with the previous model that we tested and that also had the Intel chipset inside. Well. We're gonna use two methods for testing this Wi-Fi card. The first one is using this adapter that we got from MSI and included the Wi-Fi card. We're gonna be testing it and disassembling it to use it with this Wavlink Wi-Fi adapter. The second option, of course, is gonna be using two laptop computers, uh, one that is fairly old running a Core i5 seventh generation, which by the way, has been subject of many demonstrations in our channel and basically is gonna be acting like the lowest limit where we're gonna find slots that are capable of handling these adapters. We're also gonna be upgrading this Lenovo laptop, a Core i7 12th generation, to see if this time the adapter that we're gonna use, this Wavlink adapter, is gonna work. Spoiler alert, it did and it was fantastic. Let's remember that in one of our recent videos we tried to upgrade this Wi-Fi 6 adapter and it was not possible for a strange reason. It wouldn't just recognize the card and it would just stop working. So we had to go back to its Wi-Fi 6 adapter, which as we keep saying, is still an awesome upgrade, providing us with one gigabit per second rate. We also try to use the oldest hardware possible that will give us a good performance as we do not gain anything demonstrating that the hardware works in recent or new computers. Installing it is as difficult as disassembling the computer where you're gonna install it. Manufacturers, by the way, have tried to make this easy for us nowadays that computers seem less complex for this particular task. For example, adding memory and VMEs or changing the Wi-Fi adapter like what we're doing in this case. This particular model of HP is a little troublesome uh, to make these upgrades as you need to take apart the whole computer to get access to the M.2 slot where this card is going to be installed. We have taken this computer apart many times to test Wi-Fi cards, memory cards, and VMEs. If it is the first time that you do this, our recommendation is that you record the procedure so you will be able to go back in any particular moment and see how things were connected and where the screws were located. Okay, so after the installation, as this computer had already been using Intel's BE200 adapters, it just updated some of the drivers needed and the installation was pretty much straightforward. In your case, I would advise to have an alternate way of connecting your computer to the internet so it will automatically download the drivers for your card. For example, you can use one of these USB adapters or even single Wi-Fi dongles. There is always the alternative of downloading manually the drivers beforehand and installing them after putting the hardware in place. Links to the driver downloads are included in the instructions, so that will be no problem at all. After we finished installing this card and assembled the computer, we made our tests, but as you may have been able to see, this computer only features one Wi-Fi antenna, and that is one of the answers to previous videos. Yes, these Wi-Fi adapters, at least the three models that we have tested, including this one, need to have dual antenna setup. So before testing it in our most recent Lenovo laptop, we installed it in this PCI Express adapter, as we said, that came with another Wi-Fi card, the Herald BE from MSI. As it features dual antenna, it was very easy for us to test the behavior of the Wi-Fi connection when we disconnect one or the other antenna. This is something that didn't happen with Wi-Fi 6E adapters. 
So let's see the performance. This one is the performance that we got from this adapter connecting it to Wi-Fi 4. This one was the speed connected to a Wi-Fi 5 or 802.11ac, very good speeds. And here, what we got from Wi-Fi 6, which by the way, has an extraordinary performance and continues to be a very valid upgrade as it gets you very close to one gigabit per second. And we ended with Wi-Fi 7 and playing around with different configurations of MLO or multi-link operation. And of course, connected the access point to a minimum of a 2.5 gigabit per second switch, which by the way, gives you an astonishing performance. Again, typical of Wi-Fi 7. Like I said, Wi-Fi 6 gives us performance around the gigabit per second barrier, which for most people out there is gonna be more than enough. Back to Wi-Fi 7, this performance is gonna let us transfer this huge 33 gigabyte file in three minutes. Yes, three minutes. Great performance, but wait, there was more to come. So we went for our final test, installing this Wi-Fi card on this Lenovo laptop, which as you can see right here is much easier to disassemble than the HP, which is a 2018 model. And access to the Wi-Fi card and NVMe is absolutely straightforward. You've already seen its performance in Wi-Fi 4 to 6. However, we found something very interesting. We have tested several Wi-Fi 6 access points and our latest WavLink Wi-Fi 6 outdoor access point gave us one gigabit per second rates in mobile phones, laptops, and of course with this Wi-Fi 7 adapter. When we connected to Wi-Fi 7, of course, with this multi-link operation active, these were the speeds that it connected at. Incredible speeds over Wi-Fi once again. So we went for something that we do not usually do. We decided then to go to the control panel and manually tell the driver that our preference was to use the five and six gigahertz bands, save the configuration and connect it again. And this is how we found out that we were not really using MLO with all the other adapters. Turns out not all drivers support the specific configuration when the access point is capable and MLO was active. This particular preference had to be manually set for it to reach these awesome speeds. Take a look at this fantastic performance over Wi-Fi 7. Now, as we always say, real life examples. We transferred this same 33 gigabyte file in one minute and 45 seconds. And tests again and again were very consistent. Really outstanding performance. The best that we have seen so far in a Wi-Fi 7 adapter. Of course, this was at a few meters from the access point. You can expect this speed to drop a little bit over distance. Back to the antenna issue. Will it work with computers with just one antenna? Well, my results have definitely shown that it is imperative to use both antennas. So I would strongly recommend the use of both antennas for your internal laptop card. There is one question left to answer. Does it really matter if the antenna that you use is Wi-Fi 6 or designed for Wi-Fi 7? The answer that we have for that is that we have been able to test and so far we have not found any difference whatsoever. Maybe for the older 2.4 gigahertz bands, it may have been critical, but for these five and six gigahertz connections, it does not matter. I really hope that you can get the most out of this video and as usual, that it was as informative as it was intended. Please remember that your kind support to our channel is to subscribe to it and hit the like button for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.